Welcome inside for the post-game show presented by IGS Energy. Brian Giesenslaw, you know Jean-Luc Grandpierre, and of course, you know Zach Warinsky. Great to have you up here tonight. Listen, this felt like a little bit of a second reset for this team. After the Detroit game, Pazzi had a couple of tough practices. The team responded. Same thing happens after the Dallas game. A couple of tough practices just to kind of reset the mindset. Is that fair? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think sometimes you need that. Obviously, we don't want to have it twice already in 10 games. But yeah. um, kind of a younger team. Uh, it's going to happen. Obviously, Dallas is a good hockey team. I don't think we, we played hard enough. We had some tough practices. And then, obviously, uh, tonight we found a way to win and played hard. So uh, sometimes you need that. And I think it kind of resets the team and, and gets you focused again. Yeah, you talk about uh, finding a way to win after, through two periods, two goals by temper. You guys are down 2-1. Couple lucky bounce, obviously, but you get in that locker room after the second period, and you should feel good about yourself. But obviously, you're, you're behind. How do you guys stay within the structure and come back with a third period like that? Yeah, I thought we played well in the first, uh, second, third. They had some bounces, they had some chances. Uh, that was kind of their best period. Um, we talked in the locker room a little bit, just about resetting, um, you know, playing our game, playing our structure. I thought we did a great job in the third. Uh, didn't really give up much. Obviously scored some big goals and found a way to win. So uh, when we're playing that way, we're playing within our structure and playing fast, uh, we can play with anybody. So I thought that third period was a good, uh, good period for us. The 2-2 goal, how many times have you seen or worked in conjunction with Boone deflecting pucks like he did on the shot that you took here tonight? Yeah, every uh, every day after practice, I shoot pucks for Boone. He tips them. Uh, usually not one-timers. Yeah. They're usually more wrist shots. But uh, we kind of have that familiarity. Obviously, he's never on the power play. So just get used to him there. Uh, I shoot a lot of pucks at him, and uh, he's so good at tipping. So uh, that was a set face-off play. He wins it perfectly yeah. and uh, makes it easy. Obviously, he gets to the net and gets a stick on it. So it's a big goal for us. What's your role in that? Is there a type of shot or a, a place that's better for him or something that gives him the best opportunity? Uh, not really. I think on that one, it's a one-timer, so I'm yeah. just trying to get it through. Uh, they did a good job of, uh, you know, blocking shots tonight. So for me, it's just trying to get the puck through. Uh, he goes hard to the net, obviously beats his guy, and uh, perfect tip there. I thought you had him beat top shelf. I think Boone just got in the way, honestly. That's my impression. <laughs> but in all seriousness, how do you feel? Obviously, we know about the injury last season. Are you starting to feel a little more comfortable on the ice? And, you know, it, it's going to take 10, 15 games. But right now, how are you feeling playing with uh, Damon Severson? Yeah, I think it's been good. I think every game's got better for us. Uh, you know, outside of Dallas, I don't think I played well in Dallas at all. Um, had to sit on that one for a few days, which sucks. But... Uh, we, we reset, uh, come out here tonight, I felt steady, um, just move, moving the puck up, felt good defensively. So uh, I'm not trying, to, not trying to do too much, just trying to keep it simple. Um, I think playing with Sivo, it's been good so far. We can kind of read off each other, and uh, I, I like how the pair's been going. Elvis got a little irritated a couple of times tonight, rightfully so maybe, but he just sat on the bench in the interview. He said, yeah, I was taking hacks at guys, but I mostly just got Z instead. I missed yeah. my guy. Uh, so you took some abuse, but Elvis tonight, Really, especially in the second period, that game could have gotten away. He made some big stops. For sure. Elvis has been really good this year. Both our goalies have. Yeah. Um, obviously, like you said, in the second period, they had their chances. Uh, they were kind of taking it to us, and Elvis made huge shaves there. Um, but, yeah, no, he was uh, he was whacking me in the back of the legs. So <laughs> I, think, I, I think he owes me a dinner or something. But, um, but no, he's emotional, so it's, it's good. I think when you play with emotion, it's definitely a good thing. Yeah, is this uh, is this the best version of Elvis? Although, yeah, you did take it in the back of the legs. You're very patient because I would have turned around and said, "What the heck are you doing?" Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I might have to box out a little harder, so I'll uh, I'll let that one slide for him making the save. But that's right. Um, no more Elvis. No more. That's, that's good. Awesome. All right. Well, you had a couple of days. Yeah, the practices were tough. You also had the Halloween party. Uh, we talked the other day with Jody on set about Halloween parties in in the National Hockey League and what a thing that they are. How was it? Uh, did you bond? Did you get all those things that you want to get out of a group in a party like that early in the season? Yeah, I think it was great. Um, we did some stuff before training camp with the guys. Yeah. Uh, haven't really done much as a team since then. We've kind of been home for the most part. A lot of one-day trips. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think whenever you can get together as a group, the girlfriends, wives, uh, just spend a night together. Obviously, get out of your comfort zone a little bit, dress up, uh, just have some fun. I think it was good for our group, and uh, those are moments that bring you closer together. So it's always uh, a good thing when you can do stuff like that. Every year, there's some legendary outfits and uh, <laughs> costumes. This year, who was the winner, in your opinion, as the assistant captain? Um, yeah, there was a lot of good costumes. I think Johnny and Meredith there in the front. Yep. Uh, you know, Travis and Courtney were pretty good. Patty's got a good one. Uh, everyone did well this year. There wasn't really any bad ones, um, which is obviously uh, a question mark. Some guys, some of the young guys, don't really uh, take it too okay, seriously. Okay, what is this? 51st dates. Okay. I don't know if you've seen that, but... Uh, Not cool enough. Yeah, we got a lot of love on that one, actually, so <laughs> we'll take it. 
<laughs> we back in the days we used to abuse the guy that would just come with a random mask and just buy like the cheapest mask yeah. and come through. So nothing like that this year. Everybody um, thought about it pretty well. No, Jack didn't. I mean, I don't. I didn't want to throw him under the bus. But <laughs> since you asked, yeah, since you asked, uh, Jack was pretty brutal. Um, and he was, I figured he'd you know be the guy. Funny? He was like chirping guys' costumes, and he had the worst one. He's yeah. like, you know, holding court on who's got the best one. And I'm like, you have the worst one. You didn't. <laughs> of you went in your closet and just put something on. <laughs> so there's no uh, photo evidence of it. But what was yeah. it? If you don't mind. Uh, I don't. He tried to be like a blackjack dealer. I don't know. It was tough. <laughs> it was brutal. Awesome. I don't think anyone wanted to get picks with him because his costume was so bad. Man, that's the guy at the party. No one wanted to get picks with Jack yeah, Rasselman. Yeah, sorry, All Jack. Right. All right. Hey, we always appreciate you guys making the trip up to the desk. Uh, we know it's post gaming. We know you have other things to do. So thanks for coming up. Build on this. Consistency this is the key right now, right? Just consistency. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, taking a step forward every day. Obviously, there's going to be off nights, but try and limit those and just build on, on the good stuff and uh, keep it going on the road trip here. All right. Zach Wierenski, tonight Jackets win. Downstairs now, here's the captain, Boone Jenner.